number 10 from the 2007 Advanced Higher Maths. Integration by substitution. Five marks to evaluate this integral using the given substitution. Well, let's first of all get some differentials going. du by dx would be 2x, which means that dx would be du over 2x. There's some limits here. Might as well change those at the same time using this. If x equals 0, that means that u would equal 1 plus 0, which is 1. And if x is 1, that means that u would be 1 plus 1, which is 2. So I'll pop back over here and put in what I've got so far. So the limits changed from 0 to 1 to 1 to 2. I had an x squared, x cubed on top. I've got a dx which has been replaced by a du by 2x. I've got a 1 plus x squared which has been replaced by u. And that's all to the power 4. So I've still got some x's lying about. Like reluctant tenants, they'll need to get removed. Well, that would knock out one of those, leaving me with an x squared. And I've got a relationship here that I can use. x squared, I'll put it down again. If 1 plus x squared is u, the next squared will be u minus 1. So I could use that here, and I'll take that 2 out while I'm at it. That's in the denominator. So I've got half of the integral from 1 to 2 of, with that cancelled out, that'll be x squared, which can be replaced with u minus 1, over u to the 4, du. Now that's quite manageable, because I can split those. That's going to be a half of the integral from 1 to 2 of u over u to the 4. So I could write that as u to the negative 3. Minus 1 over u to the 4. So that's u to the negative 4. du. And then carry out the integration. So that means it's going to be add 1 to the power. Divide by the new power. So adding 1 to the power is going to be negative 2. So dividing by negative 2 means I've got negative a half u to the negative 2, which is 1 over u squared. Add 1 to the power negative 3. Dividing by negative 3 will make it plus a third u to the negative 3. So I should have written, whoops, 1 over u cubed to be evaluated from 1 to 2. So it's a half of, and then what have we got together? So it's negative a half times 1 over, and that's, I'll just put it straight in, 4 plus a third times 1 over, and 2 cubed is 8, minus negative a half of 1 over, and when it's 1 it's quite simple, it'll just be 1, plus a third of, again that'll just be 1. And I think what I'll do here is, I'll just put all these fractions together, because I can see I've got 20 fourths. So make everything into 20 fourths. So that part there is 8, so that'll be a negative 3. That's just the 1 24th. This part here is a plus, but it's a half, so it'll have to be plus 12. This part here is going to be a negative, and a 3 means it's going to be a minus 8. So it's going to be 13, take away 3 is 10, take away 2, 8 is 2. 2 24th, the half knocks out the 2, so it's 1 24th. So the value of the integral is 1 over 24. And the last part. A solid is formed by rotating this curve here between x equals 0 and 1 around the x-axis for 360 degrees right down. One mark, just right down the volume. Well, first a wee preamble, I suppose. It's not strictly speaking necessary. What would this solid look like if this was the curve? Well, you're rotating it about the x-axis. And whatever this looks like, it's from 0 to 1. We'll send it passes through here. So we'll just assume it looks something like this take it up as far as 1. If that's the curve, or rather the portion of the curve from 0 to 1, if you rotate it around the x-axis, it's going to form this sort of trumpet shape. And to get the volume of that, you consider lots of thin disks. Very thin cylinders. And you add up the volumes of all these little cylinders. Now, the thickness of that cylinder will be dx. The radius of that cylinder, the area, in other words, of this disk here, would be pi r squared, where r, the radius of it, is the same as the y-coordinate. So it's going to be pi y squared 
dx going from 0 to 1. Translating that over here then, what have we got? So the volume will be pi times, adding up all these little disks from 0 to 1, of y squared dx. It was already looking a bit suspicious. So that's pi times from 0 to 1, squaring this. Well, squaring the top would give me x cubed. Mm. Squaring the denominator, it's already squared, will give me power 4. Mm. dx. Which means, of course, the same as this, which means I've already got this answer. It's 1 upon 24. So it's pi times 1 upon 24, which means the volume is pi upon 24 units cubed.